at you guys. So this is my last day with my first house, 480 Golfwood Plaza. So I just wanted to do a little tour and walk through so that I can remember it because it was such an amazing house. So here we go. All right, here's the entryway. And brick is always nice, you know. Such a strange color, orange. We kept it that way. All right, so when you walk in, this is the first living room. It looks so much smaller without the furniture. And there's a hallway here into second living room. The bathroom here, which was a little updated. It just has a bathtub. And then back in the hallway, there's a closet here to the left. We had a fireplace, which was amazing. We had a TV set up there. So first door was Riley's room. So just a closet and then the pretty wall mural that I did. It took forever. But I got it done. Riley actually loved the thing. She'd always go up and point at the characters and things. And there's Daddy and Riley. We're getting the U-Haul all packed up. Getting ready to move. <laughs> Things a big old thing. And then there's one room here, which was our guest room slash office. And then this was the original master suite that Holly stayed in. This thing is huge. Has its own bathroom, of course shower where you do your business and in the closet we kept the shelving for them for the new owners I wanted to show you guys something in the bathroom so I don't know when this was last updated like you know obviously the lovely brass color but this pops out and there's like a built in toothbrush holder and soap dispenser Crazy. I don't know why it reminds me of Playboy a little bit. And then back in the living room, the owner's gonna keep the kitchen table and chairs, but it kind of just fits perfectly right there anyway. Pantry to the left. Then we have the kitchen straight back here and the laundry rooms past that. And then this was the room that I stayed in. So originally this was a garage and they converted it to a master bedroom. So this thing is ginormous. And then there's still some clothes in the closet. And this one has a bathroom too. And a nice shower. Alright, so Attila made a dog run over there so the doggies could stay over. They were supposed to not get into the grass. There's still a few things I have to pick up. But Rex learned how to jump over that fence, so he'd be digging up the yard all the time anyways. And we had a big old um, stack of firewood, a shed. We'll head into the garage. Still got to clean up a little bit in here too, but it's an oversized two-car. There's a little workbench. And it was wired 220, so Attila was really excited about that. But this place was an awesome home. It's where Riley's first home and my first home. So it's kind of bittersweet, but I'm going to move on to better things, hopefully, in Texas. All right, I don't know if this is allowed, but... I had extra bottles of wine I didn't know what to do with, so I'm giving it to the new owner. I put a little note, and the keys are all on keychains. 
with garage door openers. So this is the house um, from when it was originally built in 19073. So there it is. So that garage they converted to a master bedroom and then I left a little note about what it is so they don't throw it away. But that's pretty much it. Gotta say bye bye to the house. Bye to our big old tree in the back.